Joining us now is one of the stars of the new horror movie, Sissy. She's a producer, she's an actress, and here she is, Emily De Margariti. Good morning. Hello, good morning. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. And so you're a producer, you're an actress, you're out of um, Australia and L.A. right now, is that right? Yes, I live between the two, but I'm in London at the moment. You're in London at the moment. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a world traveler. That's awesome right there. What's that like, traveling so much for the job? Um, it's good fun. It's fun when we get to take it to, um, like, different film festivals. It's a lot of fun. We get to watch amazing films and be a part of a really good community, so can't complain. Mm -hmm. And your production company is in L.A., Dems Entertainment. Uh, like, what pushed you to start a production company? I think what pushed me to start it was the fact that as an actor, it's quite difficult to uh, be an actor. I think sometimes it's smart to have like a duality and be able to do multiple things. So I think facilitating work for myself and also other people in Australia, I think is important and bringing work to Australia, I think is very important and it's something I'm passionate about so it just made sense to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah definitely and you know you produce obviously some of the work that you're in as well is that different than like working on somebody else's kind of movie or project compared to something that you've created from the ground up? Yeah it's, it's definitely a different experience it's creative in its own way I think when you're playing a character but um, when you get to develop your own script and kind of influence the way that it goes um, it is fun to have that creative control, so that aspect I do enjoy. Awesome. And so you were part of the production of Sissy that debuted at South by Southwest, um, the horror comedy about a young woman running, um, winding up at a vacation getaway with her childhood bully. You know, yeah, tell us more about what's going on in that movie. Um, well, without saying too much, it's just a satirical horror about a social media influencer, I guess. Uh, and. For me, Cecilia, uh, she is a woman, not my character. This is the lead, Aisha D. Her, so her character is someone who is, I guess, frozen in time, I would say. Um, frozen in her childhood friendship, I suppose. And, and what's, what is that like? And um, how, uh, how social media, I suppose, can affect people with mental health. And, and we kind of explore the correlation between the two. Uh huh. And you, so you play Alex in the movie, and she's one of the bullies, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I guess she's the bully in it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to say any spoilers, so you'll just have to see. Okay, yeah, no, I watched the trailer, and it looks like there's kind of a mystery that's unraveling during the movie, and it has me pretty excited to check it out. Uh, do you know, like, when it'll be a, a full re fully released for people to watch? I believe it's Halloween. Yes, yeah, so it'll be on Shutter, which is exciting. So everybody can stream it. All right. I, I, I'm super excited for it to be on Shudder then. I, I have subscribed to Shudder. I'll be keeping an eye out for that one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and so how was it putting the movie together? You know, did any of the creators pull from like childhood trauma to bring this more to life? I feel like I would have done something like that if I had, had I been written this movie. <laughs> yeah, well, Kane and Hannah, um, they're both incredible and they are both the directors and the writers um, of Sissy. Um, and they have both experienced similar things, but we wanted, I mean, I know that I've had many discussions with them about this, because I'm actually here with them in London at the moment, um, and we're going to Brussels soon to go to Biff, another film festival, but um, they were letting me know that, you know, as, as a female, and honestly, from my own experience as well, as a female and in childhood, when you would have friends, it's such an interesting psychological thing that women do to each other sometimes. I feel like with men, you know, they can just cut cut it off and not be friends with them anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I'll talk it out over a beer. But with, with females, it's like an interesting thing when you're a child where your best friend is sometimes the meanest person to you or, and what is that and why uh, why is that a thing when you're a child and what is that friendship and how does that translate into adulthood so I think they definitely drew from that um, and I think everybody who was involved on set has all experienced you know bullying in some form as a child and and sometimes even in adulthood um, but yeah, it was interesting to have everyone in having that similar experience on set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I definitely understand that. Like you were saying, a lot of people have had the bully experience. I know I've had a bullying experience in the past. And was that something that you guys just really wanted to bring to the limelight? Was how to 
almost deal with that kind of um, situation in our childhood and trauma? Yeah, well, we wanted to talk about it. I think it's. In, I think that it's something that is an interesting issue, and then also the fact that we have social media now, which is like it's the era of social media, um, and how does that translate with us having that at our fingertips all the time? Um, and just the exploration of you know the people pleaser. You've got the bully. You've got um, you've got a woman here who is frozen in time. She's almost in her own time capsule, if you will. And uh, yeah, what, what does that do to someone? And what happens when you're faced with your bully? Mm -hmm. um, what happens then? <laughs> One last question that I, I kind of ask a lot of my guests here, you know, any advice for young women out there trying to pursue an acting or like maybe even a producing career, you know, what's it like to really get the ball rolling there? Just do it. <laughs> yeah, stop making up excuses and just do it. Um, and not letting people tell you that you can't do it because you can. And you can be multiple things. I think more than ever we can be multiple things in life. We can be all different labels. And I think that's important to remember that. I feel like back in the day, we were always told you have to be one thing. And sometimes now we're just told you need to be one thing, but that's not true. The world is shifting. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like great advice. Emily, thank you so much for talking with us today. You know, I can't wait to see the movie. And everybody be sure to keep an eye out for Sissy later, later this year in October on Shudder. It's gonna be a great time. Looking forward to it, yeah, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.